the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 49, Numbers 13 to 14. Ten verses two that resulted in 40 years. The people who were gripped with fear after hearing the reports of faithless spies claimed that they should return to Egypt. First point, God permits the Israel nation to pre-examine the land of Canaan. When the Israel nation arrived at Kadesh Barnea, they were extremely curious to see what the land of Canaan looked like. But amongst them, no one had ever seen it. They decided that it would be a good idea to precede the land before actually going to live in it. To their request, God said yes. So 12 people, including Joshua and Caleb, went to pre-examine the land. The aim of the 12 leaders were the following. To see whether the Canaanite army were strong or weak. To see what the farming land looked like. To see what the ground's layout was like. And also to see whether there were trees in the land. To examine this, the 12 leaders set out for 40 days. Second point. After looking around Canaan for 40 days, those who wanted to go back to Egypt and those who had faith to enter Canaan were divided. Upon return from looking around Canaan, the 12 leaders gave their presentations. They all agreed that it was indeed a beautiful land flowing in milk and honey. But from then on, there was a major division. 10 out of 12 men reported that it was impossible to enter Canaan out of fear. At this, Joshua and Caleb stood up and disagreed. But the people tried to throw rocks at Joshua and Caleb, so God had no choice but to intervene. Third point, Moses faces the second most desperate situation of his life. During Moses' lifetime, he faced two major desperate situations. The first was during the Golden Calf incident, where 3,000 people were killed. The second was when the ten leaders announced that it would be best to return to Egypt. This time around, 15,000 people had to die. Once again, Moses prayed for the people. Fourth point, God decides to let go of the Exodus generation and to educate the Mana generation. God heard Moses' prayer and decided not to wipe out the entire nation. He decided to forgive them, but on the condition that they had to stay in the desert for 40 more years. Furthermore, excluding God's servant Caleb, the remaining adults were never to enter Canaan. The only ones to enter Canaan were those who were 20 years or younger. In other words, the 40 years were reflected by the 40 days. The 12 leaders were in Canaan. Thus, after 40 years, only the educated Mana generation would be able to enter Canaan. Later on, we see a few similar situations, one being the Babylon captivity for 70 years, which was the result of the people not keeping Sabbath for 70 years. Fifth point, God gave manna even on the night the Israelites complained. Even on the miserable night, the Israelites agreed with the ten leaders who suggested going back to Egypt God gave them manna from heaven. After studying all of this in detail, no wonder John could not help writing in 1 John that 
God is love. God also provides daily bread for us today and every day. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tong Doc app. The Tong Doc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.